Now, there's a lot of controversy about what's going on in, in the world uh, about drones, too. And, and that's why I've asked um, uh, Trudy to come here and, and speak to us. Trudy Cooper, uh, I want to welcome you to the show. Thank you. Uh, there, are, there are different ways of looking at, at uh, technology. You know, when we took a talk about technology in war, of course, I'm opposed to anything that is going to advance uh, mm -hmm. uh, death and destruction of other people's lands and people. Um, but there are pros and cons to technology. There are good things about technology. Uh, we can communicate with each other. We can learn from each other. We can share knowledge. So we're talking about doing a, a program. You want to tell them a little bit about this is Oregonians for drone control. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> In, uh, well, about the organization, it was started about a year ago, and the focus of um, of the organization is on domestic drones, as opposed to you know another area that I work in with Code Pink nationally is obviously the drones that are being used in war. But this is regarding what kind of legislation should exist in Oregon to address the significant issues with safety and with privacy and with um, First Amendment rights, civil rights. Right. So, like, what, what would be some of the scenarios that we'd be looking at? I know that I was, uh, at last meeting, uh, I was with you there because it's a coalition of people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Veterans for Peace, which would be mm -hmm. a supporter. Uh, what are the other organizations that are involved? Well, you mean ongoing or sponsoring the event? Well, well ongoing. Yeah, ongoing. I think they're similar to the ones that are sponsoring the event. So, uh, Alliance for Democracy, Oregon Progressive Party, the Economic Justice Action Group of the First Unitarian Church of Portland, Pacific Green Party, Physicians for Social Responsibility. Um, and Veterans for Peace, Chapter yes. 72. <laughs> and, uh, and one of the things that, you know, we were talking about at the meeting was uh, the sort of pro and con of be about mm -hmm. the good and evil of technology. Mm -hmm. And that, um, is Abram, Abram, is that his name? Uh, Aram. Ar Aram, I didn't, mm -hmm. wasn't sure how he pronounced it. Uh, Aram uh, was, is an expert, he's an mm -hmm. uh, engineer who actually works on this kind of technology. Mm -hmm. And he was showing me a, a lot of stuff about uh, how it was used in ag agriculture, or how it can screen land mm -hmm. and see problems in in the geography. Uh, mm -hmm. We can, you know, detect weather. Uh, there are various various things in which fight wildfires. Fight, fight wildfires. Mm -hmm. So, with it, we're talking about doing a panel. What's the date for this this um, program? It's August seventh, which is a Thursday, and it will start at six thirty. It will be at the First Unitarian Church of Portland uh, in the Elliott Chapel. Mm -hmm. And uh, do we know the, all the panelists yet? Right now? Well, we know all but one panelist. So <clears throat> we have Colonel Ann Wright, who will be speaking about the international. Um, actually, I put a little title on each one of these that might be of interest. Um, so Colonel Ann Wright is talking about Brave New War, U.S. policy, drone strikes, and inter international law. So that will be the wider context of, you know, the first that we've learned about drones and the word drone, the association is the military application, right. is the, the association with weaponized drones. So the industry has pushed very hard to call them instead unmanned aerial vehicles or UAV systems. I don't think that that necessarily is going to change anything, but that's the uh, the effort to make the distinction, you know, that you're asking, the question you're really asking right. about is, what are the positives and negatives of drone technology and how can we humans and society catch up with this technology and use it for the public good? Mm -hmm. Because in any situation where there's a vacuum of policy, there's the high potential for abuse That's right. or even inadvertent misuse. So that's what the concern is about and that's why the organization formed. And I think, you know, with the event we're trying to do something that is a, a little bit ambitious because usually, you know, and we've talked about this before, that we have our own community of people that support each other in right. this kind of perspective. And we often don't go beyond, as we put it, the choir, you know, to 
um, or it's difficult to. You know, it's difficult right. to attract a really diverse audience. So we're really trying to reach out also to the industry and see if we can get participation from the industry, ask them to talk about what applications they see. What are their perspectives on what Colonel Ann Wright will have to say? So um, one of the people on the panel is Brian Whiteside, who is uh, an industry uh, representative and is active with the Industry Professional Association, mm -hmm. which is nationwide or possibly international. And then the third uh, presenter Lum. that we have is Peter Lumstein, and we're calling that Robo Sapiens, mm -hmm. Robotics and Our Human Future. And so what he's really going to be talking about is far as I can understand from reading his materials and looking at some of his earlier presentations is what is this whole robotic age and is it um, in some ways it's more astounding than the other technological thresholds or watersheds that we've had right. um, that it, it's more to catch up with it right. and it has overwhelmed us faster than technologies of the past. I think that's what he's going to, the perspective he's going to give. And one of the things that he has said is that by the time you regulate what you think is the technology, <laughs> it's already moved way far that's, ahead that's right. to what you don't even recognize yet. Well, you know, I wanted to say too that, you know, we, since we have this sort of coalition of people working on, on the um, uh, Oregonians for Drone Control, for August 7th, we also, um, VFP is also actively involved on an annual basis with the, uh, uh, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki events that take place every year. And this year it will be on August uh, 6th, at Wednesday, August 6th at uh, 6 to 7 p.m. at Japanese American Historical Plaza. That's on the waterfront there, uh, just at NATO and Parkway in, in Cooch. This is being uh, sponsored by the, a number of groups that many that are, are sponsoring ours. But the, uh, um, the website to go to is going to be www.oregonpsr.org. I mean, That's www.oregonpsr.org. And that stands for Physicians for Social Responsibility. So we want you to, to check into both of these events. Uh, Anne will be speaking at both of these events, and uh, Colonel Ann Wright is also a member of uh, uh, Veterans for Peace and uh, 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 Code Pink, and a number of, uh, of uh, critical organizations for peace. And uh, she is uh, uh, a major keynote speaker, and you should come out and hear her. Now, I want to thank you for coming in and telling us about this.